I'm Tom Horn, and if I'm elected Attorney General, I will strongly defend Senate Bill 1070 in the courts. And I will join the national lawsuit to declare Obama health care unconstitutional. You've heard about how we're under assault. Uh, this lawsuit on 1070, the United Nations, they went after the community colleges for people to fill out forms if they're not citizens to show they're here legally. They went after me for requiring that people who teach English be fluent in the language they're teaching. Yeah. My opponent would be Obama's point person in Arizona. Yep. I will defend Arizona from these assaults from the Obama administration. Yeah. Tell me why you decided to run for um, Attorney General. Well, I've been uh, superintendent of schools for eight years, which is all the law allows. Um, and my profession was as a lawyer. I was a lawyer for 30 years before becoming superintendent of schools. I learned education serving on a school board for 24 years and then four years in the legislature. But really, my profession was as a lawyer. I was a, um, a judge pro tem in the Superior Court, judge pro tem in the Court of Appeals. I was a special assistant attorney general. I was a litigator. I have more trial experience than almost anybody in the attorney general's office. I wrote a, a legal textbook that's published by the State Bar that's in its seventh printing. I taught legal writing at ASU Law School. I was rated by my fellow lawyers in an annual survey of lawyers as what they call an AV lawyer. A meaning an A lawyer, V meaning very ethical. I was rated very ethical every one of my 30 years. And um, they gave me a 5.0 out of a possible 5.0 uh, points, which they call a preeminent attorney. So I'm well qualified professionally to be attorney general. And um, I, I have three priorities. The first is to help defend our border and, and fight illegal immigration. I have a number of specific proposals uh, on my website, electomhorn.com. Secondly, to strictly enforce the law so we're safe in our homes and our communities. And I'm proud to say I'm endorsed by the Highway Patrol, by the, uh, the uh, Phoenix Law Enforcement Association plea, by the Arizona Police Association, the APA, which is a, a, a coalition of different police organizations. These are the people that have to enforce the law every day. They need an attorney general who support them, and I'm proud they've chosen me to be that person. And the third priority is to create a legal environment that's conducive to business growth. Because without a good economy, everything else fails. Um, you've had to do, you've had to practice a little bit of lawyering, haven't you, as um, school superintendent? Yes, I've used my legal skills as superintendent. I, um, for example, to, in order to save the taxpayers money. For example, in the Flores case, a federal judge was fining Arizona a million dollars a day. Um, the attorney general refused to appeal because he and the then Democrat governor were on the side of the plaintiffs, the people suing us. I was the only one who represented the taxpayers because I was one of the defendants. Appealed. I was the only one to appeal the case, took it all the way to the United States Supreme Court where we won the case, saving Arizona taxpayers $300 million a year. I'm a member of the American Board of Trial Advocates, was admitted to that organization in January 1991, which requires that you prove that you've tried at least 25 jury cases as the lead attorney to a conclusion. Um, so I have substantially more trial experience than she does. Um, and how's the, how's the campaign going? I think it's going well. I think we're doing well. People are, are accepting our message. We have to defend ourselves from the attacks on Arizona by the Obama administration. My opponent would be a, a point person for the Obama administration. I would defend Arizona in court from all of the attacks on Arizona from the Obama administration. Okay.